Alright guys, how's it going? I received a comment in one of the videos that I made, uh, Scatter Objects, and I listened back to the video, and the audio quality is pretty poor to be fair, and the reason for this being, I just pretty much had a crap mic at the time. So now I have a better mic, so now you'll not be able to understand my Scottish accent, but it should be a lot clearer. <laughs> to address the guy's question, can you please tell me how to save scatter balls as a mesh of an object? I'll quickly go over the process again. First of all, make sure you have the scatter plugin enabled, so edit, preferences, go to add-ons, and search for scatter. Enable it, and I'll show you what to do. I essentially have three objects here. So what I'll do is I'll shift select each of these objects. And the mesh that I want to actually scatter on it, that will always be last. Next thing I'll do is I'll hit space and I'll search for scatter objects. Then using the mouse, I'll just quickly draw on my objects, so something like this. If you come up to the context menu up here, so it's this little screwdriver, you can see that we actually have a few more options regarding the density, radius, scale, things like that, so you can play around with these settings, and once you're happy you can hit enter. So what you can see here is, it's actually center the object, and that's so it can actually work on the pivot. Now what you might notice is, there's these little kind of triangles in the middle, and that's essentially your instancing. So what you can do for example, is you can select the cube duplicator, select the object properties and come into instancing, and you can actually take display instancer off. And that'll hide the triangles. So hopefully that's addressed one question. The next question is, how do we turn this into a mesh? And it's fairly simple, to be honest. So let's say, for example, we select the cube duplicator. And let's say we want to turn this actually into a real mesh. I'm a real boy. What we do is we go to Object, Apply. And you can see here, Make Instances Real. And hopefully that'll answer the guy's question. So what it's done here is it's essentially turned each instance into its own object. So if you're not happy with the position, you can actually move things about. But also what it does is it actually makes the instancing into a separate objects in itself. So if you scroll down, you'll actually see it. So you can actually delete this. So hopefully that answers your question on YouTube, mate. And hopefully that shows you the scatter technique. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, you know what to do, peace.